students today we are going to learn about front panel controls of cathode ray oscilloscope by using that front panel control we operate cro we can control the voltage frequency and different type of characteristics of image or waveform the first one front panel control is on off switch right now this on off switch is work to switch on or off the cathode ray oscilloscope now second screen the screen of cathode ray oscilloscope is like a graph paper we can see different block that scale is called as a graticule on that screen we can observe the different type of waveform then next is y position by using this y position now we can move the waveform vertically upward or downward or parallel to the y axis then next is the x position by using x position now we can move the waveform horizontally left or at the right direction or parallel to the x axis then next is the focus by using focus knob we can control the diameter of the waveform or the thickness of the waveform or we can make the waveform properly visible on the screen of the cro then next is the intensity by using this intensity front panel control we can control the sharpness of the waveform internally this intensity control knob controls the flow of electron then next is volt per division knob volt per division knob is used to control the amplitude or voltage of the waveform next knob is time per division now now by using time per division now we can vary the frequency means we can compress or expand the waveform on the screen of the cr then next is the ct ct means component testing by using this now we can test led diode then transistor etc like this component then trigger control trigger control is used to control the trigger of sweep generator internal next is internal this internal is used to connect the horizontal amplifier internally to the sweep generator then next is a ac external we have to give some time some external input so through this now we can give the external input then next is ac dc ground for measurement of phase difference we can use this combination that is ac dc ground or sometimes it is used to measure the voltage sweep selector this sweep selector now is used to operate the control of sweep generator next is channel 1 channel 2 when we use only channel 1 now then we can see only one type of waveform either it is input or output and if we use this both channel 1 and channel 2 we can see input as well as output on the screen of a cm means we can see both the waveforms at a time on a screen of a cro next is a magnifier what is mean by magnifier this magnifier gives the enlarged image of a enlarged image of a waveform on the screen of a cro means it is a magnifier calibration the use of calibration now is to make a constant waveform or to observe the constant waveform on the screen of a cr
दिस इज अ लेबोरेटरी पर्पज यूज कैथोड रे ऑक्सीलोस्कोप दिस ऑक्सीलोस्कोप गिवस डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ वेव फॉर्म और वी कैन ऑब्जर्व द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ वेव फॉर्म ऑन द स्क्रीन ऑफ ऑक्सीलोस्कोप as you can see there are different type of front panel controls on the front view or in this picture this front view consist of this blue blue colored screen and that blue color screen shows that ac sine wave that wave is applied through this socket that is y input now consider from first front panel control this is power on off by using power on off switch we can switch on or off the cathode ray oscilloscope this is most important switch then next to this power on off switch at the left bottom side there is a y input through this socket we can connect the ac sine wave signal to the cro internally it is connected to the vertical amplifier through vertical attenuator next to that y input there is a volt per division knob this volt per division knob is used to vary the voltage or to increase or decrease the voltage or we can measure the voltage by using this knob let us observe the screen as you can see each block this block is near about 1 cm and the scale this whole scale is called as a grattic wave by measuring this vertical divisions and multiplying that vertical divisions to the volt per division knob we will get a proportional voltage that is applied through the y input we can vary the voltage vertically through this screen internally the voltage on the vertical deflection plates can be vary both this channel 1 and channel 2 volt per division knob used to observe two wave form on a screen at a time what is mean by two wave forms at a time means suppose if we have to observe input as well as output on the screen then we can use channel 1 and channel 2 then next knob is time per division by using this time per division knob we can compress or expand or vary the wave forms on the screen or vary the frequency of the wave forms on the screen with respect to time then internally when we rotate this knob time per division knob then internally what happens internally by using this time per division knob there is a variation given to the horizontal deflection plate next to that type of division knob there are two position knob what is the use of this two position knob we can move vertically upwards and downwards or horizontally left or at the right the wave form if we have to move the wave form vertically upward and downward then we will use y position knob and when we have to move horizontally left or to the right then we will use the position that is x position knob this is a new front panel control that is a focus this focus knob controls the sharpness of the wave form how this control sharpness by controlling the focal point of the second internal lens form in cathode ray tube then next is intensity knob by using this intensity knob we can control the sharpness uh, we can controls the brightness 
how can we control the brightness as we rotate this intensity control knob to the right side more will be the negative voltage applied internally through the control grid as there will there will be the more negative voltage more number of electrons will emit through the control grid and as the more number of electrons emit emission takes place there so we can see the more bright waveform on the screen of a CRO. Let us revise all knob one by one. Power on off to switch on or off the oscilloscope. Then time per division. Now let us see this diagram. This diagram shows the control that is volt per division and time per division now. See the position of the volt per division at the left side first diagram. It is at the left side and the waveform is look like this. Normal position. When this knob is at the left side and when we rotate this knob at the right side, the waveform height increased here. Means internally what happens? The gain of the vertical amplifier is increased. So we can see the increased height of the waveform on the screen. At last, finally we rotate this knob at the right side. So again the height of the waveform, see it is increased. You can clearly see the picture. Is that clear? So, by using this volt per division now, we can control the vertical depletion. Now, look at this diagram, time per division. Now. Initially, this knob is at the left position and we can see the initial position of the waveform. This time per division knob introduces the frequency control knob. As this time per division knob is quietly rotated at the right side, we can see the compressed waveform on the screen. So by using this knob we can control the frequency of the waveform. This knob in the third picture is rotated again at the right side. So we can see the more compressed waveform than the first picture. By using this knob we can control the horizontal deflection internally. So in this way This is a picture showing the Y position knob and X position knob. In this picture you can see at the left side this is a Y position knob. This Y position knob in picture 1 is at the null position. At this situation you can see the waveform is at the center of the screen. But in picture 2 when we rotate the Y position knob to the left side then it moves vertically downward direction. In the similar way, picture 3 shows that when we rotate, the Y position knob is at the right side, then the waveform moves vertically upward direction. Now next is the X position knob. When this is at the null position, then you can see the initially waveform is at the center of the screen. Now when we rotate or move the X position knob is at the left side or anti-clockwise direction then the waveform moves horizontally at the left side of the screen. This is the third picture showing the moment of the knob is at the right side at that time waveform moves horizontally at the right side of the screen. You can see the sine wave on the screen of a cathode ray oscilloscope or CRO. We can adjust different characteristics like phase, frequency, amplitude or voltage of the waveform. By using these different front panel events on the front panel of the oscilloscope. This is the Y position knob. We can adjust the position of the waveform from top to bottom or move this waveform from to the X axis up and down. This is a volt per division knob. We can control the amplitude of the waveform. 
with the help of this law. Then we can give different colors to the waveform from channel 1, channel 2 or we can see the two waveform at a time. Such different types of oscilloscopes are available in the market. Next law is the exposition of we can move this exposition we can move the waveform left to the right with the help of this knob or parallel to the x axis. Next knob is a time per division knob. We can adjust the frequency of the waveform or we can compress or expand the waveform through x axis. See you can observe the waveform on the screen with the different front panel controls. There are different adjustments given to the CRO. We can see two